Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks for joining us for another video on Team Exploring UK and yeah first video with a new camera, we're using the Sony ZV-1F and yeah we're just heading out to a location the location we're going to today is a bit a bit close to a location we've been to before but we missed something off so I'll explain more when we get over there but yeah I just thought I'd start the video at home today and show off the new EOX um, Bush Bivvy Bush Pro Big Bivvy and it's absolutely tiny and yeah I just thought I'd set it up and have a quick look at it so I'll show you I've got the um, the mat for the flower, little inflatable mat, 50mm, extra big, extra long for me. So yeah, let's see what she looks like set up. Well, as you can see, it is absolutely huge. Certainly longer than me. It's a good two metres long. And that just looks absolutely great. So I can have, once we get the mat set up, when we're on site actually ready to camp, We'll then put that on top of the inflatable mat and I'll go inside that with my sleeping bag and that should be a lot quicker than setting up a tent. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, I just had to show you that set up. It's, um, it came a couple of days ago and I was really excited to get it out. And with me going out this morning to a potential location, what could be the first camp, I thought, yeah, let's get it out and um, all have a look at it together. But gonna head out now and we'll be at the location shortly we just arrived at the location now and uh, yeah this is our parking position and we're gonna head up this road which you'll start to recognize that we've been here before and I think we're heading down there somewhere not sure how well you can hear me I forgot my microphone muffler but yeah we just parked up underneath the big waterway bridge So we're going down that way, so we'll head up, we we'll start to recognise exactly where we are, so we're at Eden, Edenwood Mill, to which we was here a couple of months ago, and our destination, I think it's, I think that's the back of where we need to be, so it's on the other side of there, but I could be wrong, it might be further up, yeah you can just start to see the mill, coming into action there I will attach the video for you at the end of this video so you can come and check out the explore that we carried out in this one very dirty water today a bit of power behind it so we'll make sure we're nice and safe on the banking at the back and get around as safe as possible but yeah we'll have a quick nose around the mill anyway see what we can find never noticed these steps last time that's why you've always got to come back you always miss things There's clearly something got a boundary wall all the way around it can't see the mill being in too much of a different state to when we originally come Showing off with the zoom on the camera. Yeah, very poorly fire damaged. Let's have some trees chopped since last time we come. We never went up that track. Very dangerous explore this one. I'm not probably not gonna go back inside today. I might walk back round to the bottom 
and have a nosy down there but I won't be going too far in and certainly won't be coming back into these buildings so if you do want to see this then yeah just go and check it out on the other video still very wet and unsafe I never fancied walking at them higher levels last time the wall yeah, very old dangerous building surprised it's still standing as much as it is I'm not too sure why it's not been ripped down but we probably won't ever come back here ever again so my reason for being here today just show you the building before I explain absolutely huge structure for the motorway bridge yeah, now we're going to head down and towards the back so you can probably recognise the path we're going to take over the little bridge to where the, um, the house was the little outhouse where there was somebody living in there <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to take this track back round the back of the building. You should start to recognise this now. This would have been our easier way in last time. So we went in from where we've just come from, which was a bit difficult and a bit of a tight squeeze. To which by the time we finished the explore and come out of the other end at the bottom, we found a nice easy entry exit point. But we like to make our life harder for ourselves. Very boggy. I got the nice big wellies on, trespass fur, furry wellies. Yeah, it's a bit boggy to camp here, but the location we set up at, and if we find it, I think it'd be a fantastic camp and we'd be sheltered away from all the elements. You might remember the bridge and the outbuilding to which yeah, I'll let you go and check that out and see what you think. We're going to have a quick nosy in. I feel like there was more junk in there last time. I feel like I couldn't see in as well as what I can now. Yeah, very wet, very damp, very unsafe. Yeah, I think if you can see right over there. I think that's where I come in, right down there, as far as you can possibly see, that door right there. Sort of large pit there. Yeah, very, very dangerous place.
Just be careful for anything falling on your head. Just have a quick nose in here. We won't spend too much time in here. We've obviously we've already done our video. We'll take these steps up we took last time just to that upper level. They're all ready to pop. And get to the nice safe concrete steps. This makes you feel a little bit better when you're on a nice solid slab. Oh, and I'm feeling feisty today. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna risk it. Woo! I feel like I could fall through the floor at any point. Yeah, I really don't trust this floor. It's certainly not concrete. That's where we've just come in. And we're going to head, we're going to follow that river down in a minute. And we're hoping to find a little dwarf house. It's like a little furry tail house built into the hill. Let's head out of here before we cause ourselves an injury. It looks so easy. But when you get in front of it, it's like, uh Nice big long step. Yeah, I remember being up here last time. That rope was there. It's not actually a rope, it's a horse pipe. You just see how severe that fire damage was. Just absolutely burnt through everything but the brickwork. Time to get out of here before we cause any unnecessary accidents. We've been in here before, we've seen everything we can see. Let's get out of here and move on to what we want to find. Because I'm really hoping it's as good as expected. And we can set up a camp. And that, to be honest, is probably the last time we're ever going to enter that building. We've had the drone up, the drone's been over, we've been in multiple times. Okay, so if you watched the last video, you'll know I've definitely got to go back in here again. It absolutely spooked me out last time. Certainly someone living in here. Is there anyone here now? Last time I came in, there was a bed set up and a fresh turd with toilet paper there and I was nervous someone was behind there like an old air raid shelter or something yeah I don't want to spend too much time in here because I really do not like it it just um, gives me the absolute creeps 
Yeah, not too bad to be honest, not as bad as last time, but I'm not alone this time either, so it certainly takes, takes that scare factor away. Uh, I was having this conversation with one of my friends the other night, you know, going somewhere alone, opposed to going to the same place with three, four different people. It's just a totally different environment and a totally different perception, personally for me anyway. Um, yeah, I can be a little bit of a scaredy cat. Certainly makes me nervous, especially going out on my own. You know, going in places like that, you can literally, you know, bust your ankle, stand on a nail, anything, you, you know, you fall through that floor and you end up where your camera and your phone's nowhere near you and you're uh, just restricted in your movement then at that point and God knows how long you'll be in there before a dog walk up. Here she's screaming. So yeah, it's important to stay safe at all times and use safety precautions, usually if I'm going out on my own. Um, I'll just treat it as low working, to which I do with my construction company and I'll stay notified with somebody, regular contact if you've not spoke by a certain point then let's get in touch and if you can't get in touch then uh, come and get me out I just noticed this whilst I was filming it's very intriguing old culvert torch, torch does nothing like a 15 inch culvert with a 4 inch clay drain coming in on the side showing off with my uh, civil engineering skills yeah just look at the place from here this is um, kind of just over here is where we set up with the drone last time that's some nice drone footage you've got the motorway in the background over there so that's nice all nice good views you've got a nice farmhouse at the top there looking down at the place yeah it's certainly beautiful It's time for a lovely walk down the side of the river. It's looking very murky today. And we're going to hopefully find what we've come here for. It could be this way, or it could be the other way. One thing I do know is it's certainly one way. It's just which way. Because I feel like I'm on the wrong side as well. But we shall see. I don't really want to take a, a wrong footstep here. You can see there's just a sheer force in the water. That would have been some sort of shut off there to contain the water. With a bit of a windy, windy wheel in there, just to shut that off. You can see over there where the panels would have been. Beautiful. That's not the waterfall we're looking for, though. And it's just over the other side of this this hill. I'm hoping this is it and we're actually stood on top of it right here. Look at that. Some force there. Hopefully that's like the old chute. Some lovely, lovely storm work. Nice little waterfall coming down.
Beautiful. And this is us. I wouldn't mind living here myself. It's quite peaceful. You've got the water. You can have a nice shower in the morning. Nice cold shower. To watch his footstep on here is very slippy. Look, don't try this at home. That's why we do it. Ah, a lot smaller. A lot smaller than what I originally thought. Yeah, not much to it at all. Nice big cobwebs. So yeah, that would have been the fire, but I'll tell you what, you could camp in here. Might have to bring the shovel and level all that off just to get room for a couple in. You can have your fire in there, camera set up over there. Beautiful. What a stunning archway on it. Beautifully built. Built to last. And that's what we came for and I think we can camp it I would like to bring the shovel just move some of the rocks out of the way and you get a nice couple of uh, couple of bivvies up in there you can wash wash your equipment off in the morning have a quick wash boil some water up bacon sandwiches on lovely I don't know if we're just climbing down there and seeing if there's anything else coming into it or whether that's just a bit too risky. Certainly is with a camera out. Beautiful. I have to climb down to have an order just for a nice picture. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you can hear me all right without me mic muffler. We're just going to have a little nosy going across, across this little river, go and have a look underneath the motorway bridge. Wow, that's a lovely shot. Just feel the mist coming off that. Yeah, that mist is just hitting me. Nice, actually. It cools you down a little bit. But yeah, beautiful. I'm just going to literally head across. Luckily, I've got my nice big wellies on. And yeah, we can um, we can certainly come back and camp this one, guys. So let me know in the comments if you want me to come back and camp up there in that little hut. Let me know, and if um, if enough of you request it, we'll come back. Pretty much all done here now, guys. We've uh, found a bit of an easier route out coming down this way. Now we can just literally walk. Up that bank in there. Come up that way back to the car. The car's just parked up there. If we can find a safe way across, that is. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe it'll be safer to just walk round. But yeah, it's um, it's been a good one, guys. Thank you very much for joining us for another video. Hope you liked it. Go and check out part one, so to speak. Eden Edenwood Mill. And yeah, let me know what you think and should we come back and camp it? Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.